Hi everybody, I hope you all are in good health and in today's video, you will understand the profit maximizing level of output for a monopoly firm. A profit maximi the profit maximizing level of output for a monopoly firm is similar to that what we see in other firms or in other market firms like perfect competition where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So a monopoly firm will produce a level of output where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost in order to maximize its profit. Now let us draw marginal revenue and average revenue curve for a monopoly firm. Now as a general rule marginal revenue and average revenue curve they have the same vertical intercept but average revenue is greater than marginal revenue in monopoly form. So if I draw average revenue curve is this a downward sloping curve. So marginal revenue will be drawn like this. So the slope of marginal revenue slope of marginal revenue is twice the slope of average revenue and average revenue as we can see here is greater than marginal revenue. This I have explained in my last video that why AR is greater than MR for a monopoly firm and I have shared the link for the same in the description. So you need to remember and understand this while drawing these curves. Now let us draw average total cost and marginal cost curve for a monopoly firm. This is our average total cost curve and here is our revenue quantity cost marginal cost curve intersects average total cost at its minimum point. Now if we put all these curves together we'll get our profit maximizing level of output for a monopolist. Let us draw the profit maximizing level of output for a monopolist. Here we have our average total cost curve, then this is marginal cost curve of the firm and here we have our marginal revenue curve downward sloping and the last one is average revenue. Now the firm will equate its output with this conditional. With this condition marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost at this point. So this point gives us our profit maximizing level of output but what about price? How a firm will decide the price to be charged? For that the firm will take into consideration the demand curve. Average revenue is equal to demand curve of the firm. So average revenue is basically the demand curve for the firm and from this point this profit maximizing level of output from this point if we mark a point here on the demand curve we get our price. So this is the price which the monopolist is going to charge in order to maximize its profit obviously provided that its cost is less than its revenue. Now if the firm instead of this output OQ decides to produce and sell let us say one less unit then what will happen? Instead of Q, Q1 then the addition to revenue which it could generate by producing more as we can see here with help of marginal revenue curve 
that the additional revenue which the firm could have generated by producing more is greater than the additional cost. Therefore, the firm will produce an output OQ instead of OQ1. It will not stop producing till OQ1, it will produce till OQ. Similarly, if the firm tries to increase its output level from OQ2, let us suppose OQ2, then the addition to cost is more as compared to revenue. So it will be more feasible, more profitable for the firm to reduce its output instead of producing more. As in this case, the addition to profit by reducing its output will be more as compared to producing more than OQ. So if the firm tries to produce more than OQ, that means still OQ2 level, the addition to cost here will be greater as compared to additional revenue. Now, since the firm has decided to charge a price of OP, let us mark the profits earned by the firm in this case. Now, the profit is equal to revenue minus cost, total revenue minus total cost. We can rewrite this as total cost by quantity TR divided by quantity is average revenue and average total cost quantity. Now AR is price minus average total cost quantity. So the profit of the firm is this. Now let us mark the profits of a monopolist in this diagram. As we can see here that AQ represents the price, MQ represents the cost for the monopolist and AM is the profit for a typical unit sold by the monopolist. So the total profit will be AM times the units sold. So the total output is OQ. So this whole portion, this whole box or this whole rectangular area represents this whole area shaded portion here represents the profit of the monopolist. This whole portion is a profit. Equilibrium level of output for both monopoly as well as perfectly competitive firm is determined where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. But in case of perfect competition, price is equal to marginal revenue. For perfect competition. Whereas for a monopolist, price is greater than marginal cost. Which leads to a situation of deadweight loss. So in the next video, I will explain you the concept of deadweight loss.